What's up guys, how's it going? Hopefully you are having a good day. We have the Turbo S2000, we'll be talking all about that today. From popular demand, you guys want the price breakdown of what it takes to turbo your Honda S2000, or basically any car. I'm gonna give you guys a simple, easy breakdown of everything you need. All right, so let's start with the most obvious thing. You're gonna need a turbo. And that's kind of going to define how your build's gonna go. If you wanna put a lot of money into a good, reliable, dependable turbo, it's kinda gonna pave the way for the rest of your build because you're gonna wanna put more reliable parts and everything else versus if you're gonna do, say, an eBay build where you buy a $150 turbo, it's gonna set the tone for the rest of it. The turbo that we have on this car right now is a 58, 58 millimeter precision turbo that I actually purchased off eBay, so it technically is an eBay turbo, um, but, I got it from a place called Real Street. Uh, it was pretty cool. They were asking $1,099, $1,099. I was able to hit them with the best offer. Within like five minutes, they got back to me. I think I offered $999. They countered me at like $1050. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So we're gonna start there. Precision Turbo was $1050. See if I can start something like ding ding. ding, ding. Um, so the second biggest thing is going to be your exhaust, your manifold. So what we did was we bought the materials and Ben was able to custom fabricate the turbo manifold exactly how we wanted it, which we wanted it to have the actual turbo on display, not tucked away anywhere, but when you lift the hood, it's right there so everybody knows. We could have bought the same caliber manifold for about $2,500, or we could have went along the lines of getting a CX Racing, which I believe is maybe like $500, $700, something along those lines. But we spent $700 on material and we're able to make our own for about $700, not including labor. If it was labor, it would obviously be a lot more money. So take that into consideration. So we are 10.50, now we're up $700 for the parts for the manifold. That doesn't include, like I said, labor or anything like that. The next biggest thing is you need some type of cooling system in some way to get the air from the turbo into the car, into the intake. So, we purchased actually a CX Racing intercooler uh, along with charge piping and it came with a blow-up valve, which that was all $486 from CX Racing. Now, we were debating on building our own and getting a top dollar intercooler, things like that. After doing some research, it doesn't seem like there's that big of a difference in brand names of intercoolers. Uh, what does make a difference though is the type of intercooler, when I say type in the size, uh, depth, quality, things like that. But what we have seen so far is our intake temperatures are perfect. Um, the nicest thing was the the cold side, the charge pipe, doesn't really take too much stress. So that's why we were okay with going with CX Racing versus the manifold taking a lot of stress, a lot of heat. There, we've heard a lot of things about them cracking and just going bad in general. So that's why we did that. But the nice thing was from CX Racing, the charge pipe kit fit perfectly. It saved us so much time, so much effort, and we were able to just bolt everything up. And the nice thing is it came with all the kind of the couplings that we needed, like I said, the blow off valve. It is kind of a cheap knockoff blow off valve, but it does the job, gets everything done, um, and works great, it sounds great. So uh, I think it's a knockoff of a Gretty. I've had multiple people ask me if it's a Gretty blow off valve, and I tell them no, it's a knockoff. And it's, it honestly does its job, it's fine. And uh, there wasn't much more of a reason to spend the extra money, we kind of just trialed it and we we're going to see how it worked and if we needed to upgrade, we were going to upgrade. The next biggest thing that you're going to need is some type of engine management system, your ECU. So there's a couple different ones out there. We went with the Haltech Platinum Pro, which gives you a lot of good options. You can get in there and do a lot of fine tweaking. And that was the most expensive part of this build. It was $1,400 and some change. Um, $1,400 for that ECU, which it's just a little box and I'm sure you know what that is. Um, but it's very, very important and Haltech has a very good reputation and we wanted to put our money into that and to know that we were going to be able to do what we needed to. Those are kind of like your major things, like your turbo, the exhaust, your intercooler, cooling, charge pipe, and then engine management. Another big one is the fuel system and there's a couple things that go along with that. I mean, obviously you're going to be making more power which means you're gonna need more fuel, you're gonna need more air, you're gonna need more fuel. So, we purchased the Radium, Radium, Radium Fuel Rail, uh, which was $135, I believe. 
uh, our fuel pump was $170 and the 1000cc injectors were $600. That is a total of about $900 on the fuel system. So those are all kind of the big things. And then you get into things that you don't really think about, about right off the bat. Just small things that you're going to need. So, just to run through a couple quick things, you need an air fuel ratio gauge, which ours was $150. Uh, you need a boost gauge, $35. Our A-pillar uh, pod cluster was $80. The, the next biggest thing on the exhaust side was our wastegate. Now we went with precision turbo wastegate um, just because we have the precision turbo and we like the quality of that and that's actually a very important um, part of the turbo build so that you don't overboost and you don't have problems with your springs and it's just something you want to be very reliable. So that itself was $350. Moving on to more of the engine, you need something called a oil filter sandwich. And basically what it does is your oil filter that seats onto the block. And what you need is some way to get the turbo oil so it can stay cool. You put this on the block and then you put your oil filter on. And what it does is it pressurizes a line that goes up to the turbo. It's just a, just a braided cable that goes up to the turbo from that sandwich, but it supplies the turbo oil so it keeps cool. And then there's a return line, uh, another braided line that goes from the bottom of the turbo. Sorry. <laughs> Spicy chicken wings. The sandwich was $50. Again, it's all the small things like the boost gauges, the vacuum lines, the fittings, all that kind of stuff. Uh, probably about like $100 in that. Um, another $100 in the oil lines themselves because they were braided. Uh, and then the next biggest thing you're going to be looking at is tuning. You can either tune the car yourself or get a pro tune. You're looking at anywhere from at least $500 to $1,000 to get a pro tune at the dyno shop. Um, we did not do that at first and then we did and then we had issues with them and right now the car is basically tuned half per shop, half Ben and Russell shop. So uh, everything is working really well right now. Um, but the, the grand total there was about $6,500 like that. Just the turbo build. Now I'm not talking about the full engine build. This this motor is fully fully rebuilt. Forged internals, head to toe, nothing else better we could have done. Um, which I'll go into that more in the detail in another video. If you guys are interested, let me know, drop me a comment. But here's the flip side. You don't have to spend $6,500 on your turbo build. We could have cut a lot of cost getting a turbo off brand name eBay turbo for $150 if we wanted to. We could have gotten piece together intercooler kit, you know? There's just, there's a lot of different options to do this a lot cheaper, and getting used parts actually isn't the worst idea ever either. Um, you know, if you have something that's not as valuable, but this car being as valuable as it is, and the value going up and up and up, uh, we want to do everything the right way. You can range anywhere for probably $3,000 as being your lowest limit, uh, all the way up to like what we were at, almost $7,000 and beyond. I mean, bigger turbos, uh, if you wanted to go with brand name intercooler piping, all that stuff, brand name uh, blow off valves. But just want to let you guys know exactly what I did um, and what you kind of can expect from a top notch build. I mean, there was a couple things here and there that we could have done differently. Um, now, if you're looking to do this, take it to a shop and have somebody else do it, you're probably going to be looking at. Uh, few more thousand dollars in parts and labor, in labor at least. I mean, it took us a while. We, we worked on this thing for probably about three months over the winter um, and built it from scratch. Now, if you just bought a kit, it might be a little bit different. One thing you're gonna look into when you buy kits, um, you can buy a kit for probably about three or four thousand dollars, but it's missing all the little things you need. Like, usually they don't come with the ECUs, which is about another fifteen hundred dollars on top of it. Even though, me just sitting here thinking, uh, I didn't even write it down, looking at it, the turbo blanket, the fuel fuel rail, uh, fuel pressure on fuel pressure gauge on the rail, all the wrap for the header. Uh, I'm sure that was another fifty dollars, something like that. It's a lot of time, a lot of effort, and it's, it gets pricey. And when you think about it, was it worth it? Was it not worth it? Would I do it again? This thing is the, the fastest car that I've ever been in. The most exciting car, and I think that says a lot about the excitement of a, a vehicle. 
Um, I think that's worth more in terms of experience. Um, it's such a small car and it's, it has just over 400 wheel horsepower and it's just so exciting. The boost hits and it's just, it's, it's a lot of fun. It makes a lot of other cars seem not as fun. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, and stay tuned for more videos to come. More all about the S2000 and uh, anything else you guys want to see. So let me know. But I appreciate you guys stopping by. And we will see you next time. Peace. Oh, on the flip side, I want to tell you guys about this. I was doing some garage sale this morning, which I love garage sale. Uh, I've been doing that, like I said, on the side, trying to build money, trying to um, get a new slash different vehicle maybe here in the future. And I was coming across a garage sale today. It was like one of the last ones I went to. Some old lady just small, small sale, could pass it up easily. Looked around, didn't see anything too much. A couple records, um, and then I found a iPod Classic. Now iPod Classic, I wish I had it with right now to show you guys iPod Classic. So cool, works 40 gigs, it's clean, it's beautiful. It just screams like early 2000s, like I just, oh, so cool. Anyways, got it for a dollar, probably gonna sell it on eBay for like 75 bucks, so it's just, it's cool. Little by little, we're gonna get there, and uh, you guys will benefit from it, so. Again, guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you follow my Instagram, my Twitter, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, on another flip side, Ben's truck is almost done. Um, it appears that he has the air management system all done. He put those ridiculous two inch spacers on it the other day. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. Uh, we need to do some interior work. Uh, there is a Tremec T56 in there. We have these four pans that need to go in and then some seats and then it should be ready to rock and roll. So make sure you guys watch for that. That's pretty exciting. So, all right, for real this time, I'm out. Peace, bye. See you later.